This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's go to, uh, the next major moment for Mick. It's September 22nd, 1997. This is a very famous Monday night raw. Just to add context, to what you were talking about guys are making their biggest checks ever, even the referees and the agents, but this is the famous state where Vince waits to talk to Brett before the show, Brett shows up late and Vince doesn't have much time, but needs to clearly convey. I can't honor that contract. I gave you 11 months ago. So see if you can get your deal back from WCW. So it's the tale of, uh, you know, two worlds here. It's the best of times, the worst of times, bad news for Brett. Great news for Mick Foley. He's not dude love here. He's not mankind here. We see the debut of cactus Jack in the WWF. It's the first time the company has ever ran Madison square garden for a Monday night raw. And there's so much history here. This is also the episode where Austin stuns Vince McMahon and he gets arrested. It's a major Monday night raw and somehow cactus Jack is involved. How did you guys get the green light on cactus Jack? Uh, Vince liked it. We wanted something different for the garden. Vince has always treated the garden. Like it's a church and I got no problem with that. Uh, you might not see McMahon in a real church, but he, he worshiped the opportunities to be in the garden. And I think that's all because of his respect for his father. The garden was the house that, uh, Vince, Vincent, uh, J McMahon, you know, he became made it famous. One of the people that made it famous, not the only guy, but one of the people, I mean, Bruno San Martino did as much as any wrestling person ever did to draw attention to the garden. But, uh, something that we needed something new, something that, oh, look at this. And, and we already realized too, that, that people knew who cactus Jack was, it wasn't gonna be like a cold match. Right. So I, I, uh, I think that's that I remember that. I remember that show. That was a great crowd too. We talked about the crowd at double or nothing, how wonderful they were, how they made the show. Yeah. And I truly believe that they did. And we'll always be indebted for that experience. I loved it. Uh, last night as we record this, but, uh, it was special for Mick, you know, he, the garden was special for him too. You know, he's where you saw Morocco do the, get snook and do the, the big, uh, splash off the top of the cage, all those things. He'd hitchhike to get there, you know, finagle tickets somehow or another cheap seats or wherever it may be. Uh, so it was special for everybody. And I can tell you, Conrad, for me as a fan. And, and a, a devotee of all the old wrestling magazines over the years, uh, to be able to do raw in the garden for me, was extraordinarily special. Still is to this very day. I'm a sports fan and the garden was, you know, it was the world's most famous arena for, for a good reason, boxing, wrestling, hockey, hoops, the Knicks, all that stuff. So, uh, special day. And I'm gl- so we did something to make it more special, Conrad. That makes sense to you. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. I know what you're All saying. Right. What I'm saying. I love when you do that. Hey, by the way, uh, cactus Jack here gets an ECW chant from the crowd, which is still fascinating to me in 97. Of course, cactus has taken a bunch of crazy bumps, but the big one that everybody still plays back is the pile driver through the table. It's a table. Unlike any other you've ever seen in wrestling. Perhaps the most gimmick table of all time. Uh, but still, uh, Jack gives him a low blow and a pile driver, and that's it. 12 minutes, 29 seconds. We've all known that Vince never had an interest in Cactus Jack, but if you were new to the character, you had to be on board after seeing it here. Yeah, it was he delivered. He got the ball, he got his play call, he got his he got another number on his jersey. Boom, go in there in the garden, you're your home away from home, Mick, and have fun. And he, and again, he, he, and the biggest moments that are pivotal when you go back and look at them, like we're doing today, like we do every Thursday, uh, on this show, it made it special. He, Mick Foley has a specialness about him that can't be replicated by a booker or a creative staff or a writer. He, he has it and you can't manufacture the it factor. And, and he always had that competitive drive 
to want to be the star of the show. The star of the show makes the most money. And to tell you without taking some of the luster and the, and the shine away from Mick, the money was always the big motivator for him. And why wouldn't it be? Yeah. Um, you pointed out on the uh, biography this past weekend that Mick loved being three characters because, Hey, that means three action figures. And I just <laughs> yeah. thought the quote there was so great because as you said, it is all about the bottom line and now he's going to have, you know, three times the shelf space. Good for him. Yep. And, and three, and three shirts Yeah, and three foam fingers or whatever the hell it may be, but, uh, three entries on his royalty check. And that was important. Those quarterly royalty checks were much anticipated by the guys when they started understanding that if I promote my products, I got a better chance of selling them. Cause as we said here on the show, my granny taught me years ago in her little grocery store in Westville, Oklahoma, uh, you can't sell goods out of an empty wagon. So he always loaded his wagon with promotion. He got it and he was happy to do it. And, uh, and it worked out for him. He got some massive royalty checks over the years. I feel strongly that saving money is important. You know, if it's not something we worry about now, boy, we are really going to worry about it later. And I want to help you get out of debt faster and do it with cheaper monthly payments. I'm talking to you. If you're in a 30 year loan, now is the time to take years off of your loan. We're routinely helping our listeners cut five, 10, even 15 years off their loan. And you can do this without perfect credit with no money out of pocket. You've just got to start at savewithconrad.com. Well, let's talk about what's next after the match. Um, we're scheduled to be programmed against Sid, but Sid is dealing with an injury at the time and wind up winds up leaving the company and we can do a whole episode about Sid and I'm, and I'm sure we will at some point, but was this around the same time that he had some lingering issues from that car wreck with furnace and the fine or all those, or is this one of those? head scratchers where you wonder, is it softball season? What's going on here? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, something I don't know. Sid was a very active, uh, participant in the, uh, softball leagues there in the Memphis area. He, uh, he enjoyed playing the game. I don't really know this many years afterwards. Uh, I would say if I had to make a educated guess, Conrad, the, the head scratcher thing might be where I would land. Yeah. Uh, Sid had some injury issues. He had a lot of start, stop, start and stops, uh, unfortunately. And I'm sure not all of them were his fault. Probably most of them weren't. Hell, I don't know, but, uh, we had to call some audibles and that's the great thing about Mick. He was ready to go. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.